Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this lesson, we're going to look at the steps to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 23H2 after version 24H2 has been released. As you probably already know, every time that a new version of Windows releases, Microsoft updates the download page and the tools such as the installation assistant, the media creation tool, and even the ISO to have the latest version of Windows available. However, if for some reason you have to downgrade the system from 24H2 to 23H2 and the option to uninstall the feature update is no longer available on your computer or you're trying to set up a new device, you can still do this. However, you will need to use a different method and that's what we're going to see on this video. Okay, let's dive into the steps to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 23H2. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Now, if you have to download an older version of Windows 11, we're going to have to use this website. First, open your web browser and open this site. Then, from the main page, click on Windows 11 and choose the version that you want to use. Remember that at the time of this recording, Windows 11 version 22H2 and 21H2 have already been retired. So I will only recommend to download version 23H2. Then from here, we're going to choose the latest build available. And you want to use the x64 version unless you have an ARM device. For Intel and AMD, select x64 and then click on the latest build available. Choose the installation language and click next. And then Choose the edition that you want that ISO file to include. Usually you just want to use Windows Home and Pro, which is already pre-selected and then click next. Here you need to choose the download and convert to ISO option. And this is important. Make sure to check the include updates and run the components cleanup options and then click the create download package and then save that file to your computer. Then open the location where you downloaded the file Double click to open it and click the extract button. Then click the extract button again. Now, it is important to know that we didn't download the ISO. Instead, we just downloaded the scripts to download the installation files from the Microsoft servers. And then, then this tool will create a custom Windows 11 ISO, which in this case is for version 23H2. Then in here, we need to right click the UUP download Windows that CMD file and then select the run as administrator option. Now we're going to allow the script by typing R and press enter. Now the tool is going to download all the necessary files and then it will create a custom ISO file and this is going to take some time. After the script finishes downloading the files and creating a ISO file, you're going to get a screen like this and then you just simply need to press zero to exit the script and then you're going to end up with an ISO file inside of the folder where you have all the scripts that you downloaded from UUP dump. From here, you can rename this and specify a name like win11 underscore 23h2. You can put the date if you want. Otherwise, just press enter. And then you can always transfer the file to another location. In this case, I'm just going to create a new folder. I'm going to call it Windows 11 23h2 ISO. And then we're going to paste it. And now if you want, you can select and delete the scripts as you're no longer going to need them. And that's it. That's how you download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 23H2 after version 24H2 has been released. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you. And I would like to thank you for viewing.